All right, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So uh, today we're going to be looking at this property by KB Homes. Um, we are in Inspirata, city of Henderson. This model is the uh, 2125 model. It is a two-story model. You have an option for a three to five bedrooms, uh, two and a half to three baths, two car garage. Uh, the base price on this, which is the starting price, $331,790. Actually, $331,790 on this one. Oops, my bad. I was trying to read the paper. Now, as we come on in, we have some nice... 12 by 24 inch towel here. Come right into an open floor plan. But before we do that, I'm gonna swim back this way. This has a garage right here and also a room down here. So let's get all these lights on here. So I believe this one you can have an option a office or a bedroom. This one is probably like a 10 by 10. Now the series on this one is the landings at Inspirata. Keep that in mind. HOAs are $85 a month. Here's the bath. Get your tub shower combo fiberglass. Now coming back into the open floor plan here. Wow, this is just nice. Walk around this way here. These models have a lot of wear and tear with people coming in and out using the furniture. You can really see it. Here's your living room area. Just want to come over here and sit down for just a second. Kind of show you what it looks like just relaxing and watching TV. It's cool, right? Here's your kitchen island. Got your undermounted sink. So it looks like they did some upgrades here. Like the range hood, like that. Cook countertops. Cabinets on here is probably going to be all stock and standard, which is with these type of homes, they pretty much just keep them all like this. You have to understand each builder will market a certain type of uh, buyers as far as uh, demographics, household income. Now, these homes to me are so expensive. You got your entry. More storage space underneath the staircase. However, I would make this into a pantry too as well. So that way you have more room. Believe it or not, just this little piece right here is a upgrade for that railing. Uh, we have an eight foot slide, which is really nice. You have vinyl windows with tint on them. Synthetic grass here. You got some lights. With the uh, lights, you can do LED lights or you can just do standard lights that is uh, connected to your uh, 110 outdoor lights. Or you can do that solar lights. I, I think I would rather have hardwire lights. Come on in here, let's see what we got. I do love this, how open this floor plan is. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about it. 
Now, it's time to go upstairs. All right, so we got about six steps before we do a 180, it has two landings. Then we have another seven stairs, it feels like. Then we come up, bedroom here, actually master, loft here. Can't show you what it looks like. Okay, so, you know, let's just start off with here, the master. It seems like a lot of people come in here, turn off all the lights. Now, you know, I, ha I have an option to lock the door behind me to do these video footage, but I don't do that because I want people to come in too. But the only thing is that when they do come in, sometimes you catch, capture them on video, and sometimes people don't like that, but. Because normally, um, some of the builders are like, hey, come in, we want you to do the tour, but hey, just lock the door behind you, so that way you can do a proper tour. But that's what's cool now is that I'm getting calls from a lot of builders and a lot of agents that they want me to do a video tour of their property. Guess I'm doing something right. But one of the things that I would like you guys to do is if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel and you've been watching this channel for some time, right? I don't know why you haven't subscribed. I mean, these videos, I mean, we're getting up to like 1.4 million views on some of these videos. Did we come down here? I don't remember. Did so many uh, property tours. <laughs> I'm doing a few today, so. Bear with me. Let's see what we have here. You got your linen closet. So this could have been an option of bedroom, but if you had this as a bedroom, I think it would just be way too small. I love how it's just a loft. It kind of gives you that openness feel and the hallways are pretty wide here so I do like that so this would have been your closet here okay not bad That's a good idea for a built-in right there. That's a good design. Take up some of that space, kind of make it like a little desk area. Get your laundry room. I'm gonna come on this side right here to get better view here. Got your closet. And one more bedroom. We got the soccer. The soccer bedroom. Oh, yeah. I tried to play soccer once and I realized I just wasn't good at it. Did that too. Uh, what else did I do? Hockey. Realized I wasn't good at it. Football. Wasn't good at it. I'm gonna tell you this one story. Uh, you know, when I was younger, my younger days. I think I was a sophomore at that time. And um, basically, you know, I was kind of like living alone. I was going from house to house. When I was like, I think I was like only like. 12 or 13 and uh, basically what happened was I wanted to play so bad hey how you guys doing hey how you doing 
So I wanted to play so bad, and uh, there was a coach, a defense coach. He really liked me, so he kind of took me under his wing. But I didn't know how to play football, right, at all. But I wanted to be the quarterback. So the def- the defensive coach that took me under his w- wing, he basically hyped me up to the head coach. Like, yo, you got to check this dude out, man. He's good. Because what I did was I hyped up the defensive coach, right? So I went to the locker room. I got all these, you know, football pads. It was all brand new. So everybody's already, you know, practicing. I step out on the field. And the head coach was like, yo, this is your guy? I'm like, yo. Uh, the coach was like, yeah, this is my guy, man. Chuck, is he, this dude's got an arm. He's good. So he asked me, hey, do you know this routine? And I was like, eh, I don't know. Whatever, it's right? He's like, do you know this play? So I kind of played it off. So the first ball that I threw, right, I don't know what the hell I did, but he was like, head coach was like, you know what, just go wide receiver. And that was pretty much the end of my football career. <laughs> But um, I couldn't believe it. After that, I think I pretty much quit because I realized, you know what, football was just not for me. And I realized after getting hit so many times with the helmet, I was getting like headaches, like my head was hurting. So I was like, you know what, ah, maybe this is not for me. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are about this property. And also, if you don't have a realtor, I definitely would love the opportunity to earn your business. Other than that, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.